Hi everybody. Welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Paper Crafting Saturday. I'm Leslie Watkins and uh, today I thought we would make a little Easter basket. The bantam hens in my backyard have started to lay eggs. So here's a uh, Here's one of the eggs. They're very tiny. And this little basket that we're going to make today will hold four of them. So I'm going to turn you down and let's get started. Okay, so we're going to be using the designer series paper from the uh, Best Dressed Suite. And all of these things can be found on my website at Dandelion Cottage Design if you go to the shop pages. And tomorrow I will have a, a listing of all of the different things that I've used and the measurements. But we're going to be using the uh, best dress designer series paper. We're going to be using the mini shipping boxes. And we're going to use the braided border punch and a few other odds and ends. So the, the mini shipping boxes come folded flat like this. You get eight to a package. And they're very easy to put together. You just fold on all the score lines. Like so. And so typically you would, you would use them something like that. But we're going to do something a little bit different with them today. But before we get started on that, I want to do something ahead of time. So this project is going to use a little watercolor as well. So I have a piece of watercolor paper here. And I'm going to take my spritzer. This is also available on my website. I'm going to spritz the paper, get it a little bit wet, and then using my one of my aqua painters, I'm going to take some watercolor and I'm just going to let that swirl around like so. And then I'm going to add a little bit of red. Now you can use watercolor, you can use inks, you can use the uh, sprinkles. And I'm just, I'm using watercolor from my, right from my little watercolor palette that I have here. So there's some, some red and yellow. And then at this side, I'm going to add a little blue and start to mix some green. Now you can do this ahead of time and let this dry so that we can, uh, we're going to use this to make our decorations. And I'm, and you can see I'm, I'm not mixing it too carefully. I just, I want there to be different tones and colors and I want it to kind of move around and, uh, and just do its thing. Okay, so that's all there is to that. So in the uh, essential toolkit that I have listed on the website, I have the spritzer and the aqua painters, which I use all the time. So I just want to point that out to you. 
And now I'm going to take my watercolor and I'm just gonna let that swirl around. It's still very wet, so I'm gonna put that aside to dry. All right, now back to the box. So here's our box. This is just about ready to go. But first, before we put it together, I'm going to take the designer series paper and this comes, these are six by six and they come in a package of, I think it's 48. Yes, you get 48 um, beautiful patterns. And I selected this one for today and we're gonna cut that down. So the dimensions are going to be two and a quarter. I just want to check that out because I see I wrote it down wrong. So let me just correct that. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to Cut two strips at two and a quarter. And then I'm going to cut these the other way at three and a half. And three and a half. And that's all the cutting we're going to do. In addition, I have a piece of uh, cardstock here, and this color is called soft suede, and it's about three inches on the short side and eight and a half inches wide. And I'm going to take the braided border punch and I'm just gonna place this in there. And I'm lining this edge up with the edge of the punch right there. Actually, let me turn it this way so I can see it better. Okay, just gonna punch that. And then what I'm going to do is it makes this kind of a design, but I want this to be a continuous braid. So I'm gonna put this back in here. And now I'm going to line up the pattern here that's printed on the side of the punch. So I'm gonna line that up just like so. I think that went all the way. There we go. And I'm just going to keep moving that along, punching. And I think I can get, let's see. Let me try that one. Here we go. Let's see if we can get one more. I want it to be as long as I can get it, so. There we go, okay. So I'm gonna snip that off at this end. And, and this is going to be our handle. Pretty cute. Now back to the box. I'm just going to take the longer pieces of the DSP and I'm going to take a little bit of liquid glue. running some glue around the edges. 
being careful to keep it away from the very edge so it doesn't ooze out. And then I'm going to mount that on the side of the box. I'm going to flip it over, take the other longer piece and do the same thing. There we go. Now on the sides, now make sure you've got your long flap facing you because the top of the box is going to be at this end. So I'm going to take my handle and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue like so and place that on the side of the box. And then I'm going to take the side panel and put that on top. Okay, so now before I fold the box and put it together. I want to add some tear and tape. So this is double-sided tape and it's very strong. Just going to tear a little piece off. And on the inside of these flaps, I'm going to put it near the edge. Same thing on the other side. One more. There we go. Now I'm going to take my, my bone folder, which has glue stuck all over it. Let's take that off and give that a good burnish. Okay, I'm going to peel off the, the backing strip. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just push these flaps in and stick them down. Like so. Now I'm going to close up the bottom of the box. And now I can take this handle or other side of the handle. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the edge. And bring that around and hold that down here for a minute. Okay, now I'm taking my final piece of DSP. Run an edge of glue on that. Put that right there. So that is our box. 
pretty quick and easy. Let me see. It took about 15 minutes. I'm sure you could do it faster if you weren't talking like I am. And then what I have is I have this um, kind of recycled shredded stuff, paper. I can stick that right in there like so. And then I can take my beautiful little bantam eggs. By the way, these bantam eggs, which are about a third of the size of the standard eggs, make fantastic deviled eggs. They're just the right size to pop in your mouth. So there's, there's the beautiful little basket, but we're not done. I'm gonna put this aside for a minute. And I'm taking back the watercolor that I did earlier. And I have this little um, blossom punch, which came in, uh, in the celebration catalog, which is over now, but for $100, you got this for free. So if you spent $100 worth of product, you could order this for free. And I have a bunch of them, and I'm going to be using them for an upcoming online class, and I'll be sending them out to you. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you're interested, please um, subscribe to Notes on Dandelion Cottage. Oops, sorry about that. Dandelion Cottage Design. Notes is my monthly announcement of the upcoming classes, so this will be listed in there. It's going to be a really fun class on uh, how to design your own paper. So I'm going to take this, this um, watercolor I did a little bit earlier, so it's nice and dry now. I'm just going to take the punch, and I'm going to punch out a bunch of flowers. And I'm going to do this in an even number. Because we're going to put them together. So I'm going to, I'm going to punch out six. There we go. Aren't they cute? Maybe we'll do one more. I like this color. All right. And, and I also have the leaf punch and I'm going to use that one to punch out some of these leaf shapes. There we go. Now I'd like to give these flowers a little more dimension. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking my, my um, stamping mat, my piercing mat, which is this very dense foam mat, and taking my, um, my piercing tool, I'm just going to I'm just going to press that down in the center, and that's going to cause these petals to curl up and make a cute shape. And I think you can already see how pretty these things are. Here we go. For the leaves, I'm just going to fold each leaf in the center and pinch it at the end, like so.
Now, if you don't have um, your watercolor paper yet, or um, or your spritzer or your aqua painters, you can also punch these out of um, some kind of decorative designer series paper and get a nice effect as well. Now I've got the uh, mini glue dots here and I'm going to take one of the flowers and put that right on the glue dot and then press that into the center. Get it in the center of the other and just sort of smush up those those petals. And I'm taking I'm taking the, the lighter colored flowers and matching them with the slightly darker bases. And I'm also offsetting the petals so that they're not lined up exactly. we go. Just curling these up a little bit more. Okay, so now getting back to our basket. Again, I'm going to take the glue dots and this time I'm going to put them on the back of the stem of the leaf. And I'm going to make a little cluster of leaves. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same with the flowers. All right, and the, for the last thing, I'm going to take my Wink of Stella, and this is a, a little um, brush pen that has sparkly, can you see that? Let's see. Get that in the camera here. There we go. Okay. So I'm just lightly brushing these petals with a little bit of the sparkly Wink of Stella. Put some on the leaves. Okay. Now let's put a, let me get a rhinestone. Hold on just a minute. Okay, this is the uh, Champagne Rhinestone Basic Jewels. And I'm just going to take these big ones and put one in each of the center of the flowers. press and that's our basket the 
those eggs back in here. Now you can always put chocolate or candy or a cute little Easter bunny, whatever you like. But um, I know that my friends are anxious to have some of my beautiful little eggs, so that's going to make a nice gift for my friends and neighbors. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you like the project. Let me know what you think below. And I just want to remind you that April's online class featuring positive thoughts is coming right up. And um, registration closes on the 8th. So you still have four more days to register. If you're interested, if you'd like to learn more about it, please go to my website at dandeliancodgedesign.com. And uh, if you have any questions, send me an email. So stay safe, stay well, stay creative, and stay home. See you next Wednesday at uh, 12 noon for Watercolor Wednesday. All for now. Bye.